Not all you see and read on the internet is true and correct. Before I share any information or health claim here on my channel, I check if it's supported by some scientific evidence. I encourage you to check out my reliable sources posted on the description box below. I'll let you know if a specific information or health claim is not backed by any scientific study. Sebaceous glands are glands present on the surface of the skin that can make the skin oily when they produce too much sebum. Sebum is a viscous liquid composed of squalene, wax esters, triglycerides, free fatty acids, cholesterol esters, and free sterols. It isn't necessarily bad since it moisturizes and protects the skin. However, having too much of sebum production in the face can result in oily skin, which could ultimately lead to blocked pores and acne. There are a lot of factors that could affect sebum production, including hormonal imbalance, genetics, and stress. It can be hard to manage oily skin, and some people who have overactive sebaceous glands prefer natural remedies, and using tomato is one of them. They claim that tomatoes can be a natural treatment for treating or reducing oily skin. However, as of filming this video, there is not any double-blind, placebo-controlled study to support this claim. On the other hand, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, a medium-sized tomato contains 51.7 micrograms of vitamin A. Vitamin A is an antioxidant which may help fight inflammation and free radicals in your skin. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, retinol, a topical form of vitamin A, may help improve acne by possibly decreasing sebum production. In vitro, retinoids have been found to significantly reduce sebicide proliferation, differentiation, and synthesis of sebum. The topical retinoid family comprises vitamin A, retinol, its natural derivatives such as retinol dehyde, retinoic acid, and retinol esters, and several synthetic vitamin A derivatives such as adapalene and tesserotene. Tomatoes also contain salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a beta-hydroxy acid. It's well known for reducing acne by exfoliating the skin and keeping pores clear. But there's also not any double-blind, placebo-controlled study on its efficacy for suppressing overproduction of sebum. Applying tomatoes to your skin does not treat overactive sebaceous glands that cause oily skin. But we may say that tomato is good for managing oily skin because of its vitamin A and salicylic acid content. Tomatoes also contain lycopene, a dietary antioxidant known to prevent skin photo damage, and vitamin C that, according to research, helps protect against damage and aids in skin regeneration by neutralizing free radicals. You can directly apply the tomato slices or pulp on the skin, leave it for 5 to 15 minutes before rinsing it thoroughly and applying your favorite moisturizer. You can also create a mask using a combination of tomato and manuka honey, which has an antimicrobial effect. Just combine 1 tablespoon of mashed tomato and 1 tablespoon of manuka honey and then apply to your skin. Leave in place for 15 minutes, then rinse thoroughly. Very lightly pat with a towel so that the skin is still damp. And of course, apply a non-comedogenic moisturizer that works for you. Those who have sensitive skin might have a reaction to the tomato's high natural acidity, resulting in redness, rash, and itching. Before using tomato on your entire face, do a patch test first. Place a small amount on the inside of your elbow and wait 40 to 72 hours. If you notice no redness, swelling, itching, or burning on the spot, it's okay for you to do this natural skincare routine. If you find this video informative or interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook. If you also love science-based content on beauty and health and you would like to support me here on YouTube, you may want to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever you upload a new video. I really appreciate your support in advance. Thanks for watching and stay safe!